there are psychological factors that cause ED as well. And that can be, you know, things that stem even from childhood. For example, childhood abuse or sexual abuse. Uh, but that's not as common as maybe things that are in the present, like stress. So stress can be, you know, job related, money related, or even marital. Uh, there can be, you know, marital issues. Uh, it can be anxiety. So once a man experiences erectile dysfunction, he may actually be overly worried that the problem will happen again. So he has this anticipatory anxiety. Uh, and this can lead to performance anxiety or fear of sexual failure. Uh, and this is a vicious cycle. It constant, consistently then leads to, you know, erectile dysfunction. Uh, guilt, guilt is another factor. The man may actually feel guilty that he's not satisfying his partner. And that, you know, as I mentioned, 70% of sex is from the main organ which is the brain and so if that's playing in the mind then it's definitely going to interfere with his ability to you know maintain or have an erection as well depression is a common cause of erectile dysfunction in fact the depression affects a person physically and psychologically uh, it can cause uh, ed when a man is completely comfortable in sexual situations you know? so uh, sometimes even drugs that are used to treat depression may also uh, trigger erectile dysfunction as well. So, you know, all these are things that need to be explored. There is also low self-esteem and, you know, this could be due to prior episodes of erectile dysfunction. There's a feeling of inadequacy. Uh, it can be a result of other issues unrelated to sexual performance. So low self-esteem can also be an influence. And sometimes it can be a matter of indifference. Um, you know, it may come as a result of age and subsequent loss of interest in sex and also maybe the result of numerous other medical conditions or medications or even problems stemming from the couple's relationship issues. You know, so yeah, all men at one time or another may experience erectile dysfunction. Uh, if the problem is persistent, then uh, that means you know it occurs more than half the time, uh, or it becomes a source of distress for you or your partner. Then you should be concerned, and then you should be looking for medical advice and you know assessment and treatment.